Would you like to play a game? Right, have we started? Okay, guys, welcome back to A Poet Plays. This is episode 7 of my series. Um, first thing you probably noticed is that I've got a new cover for my series. Hopefully I think it'll attract more viewers. Fingers crossed. Now, um, I'm your host, Chenny, obviously, and last episode where we left off was having killed the Warden. We had just gone out onto King's Road and we met a flaming wolf. So our journey, our witch's journey, is going to continue from that moment. And today I am not feeling sickly, so hopefully I shall be able to do more jokes and more drama. Now, I've actually come back to the city because um, having killed Brutus, I think we can pick up a skill. There's some NPCs to talk to, uh, people standing around here, but let's ignore them all. Let's go straight into it. For some, death is welcomed with open arms. Did you end Brutus's suffering out of avarice or mercy? Only you know the answer to that one. Avarice, clearly. He drops loot. Why else would I end his suffering? Ha ha! Okay, I shall leave you be, Nessa. Tartly. The Warden's finally free of his own prison. Well, since you're so bloody determined to cheat the britches off death, you'd better have this. And when they write the song about you, just be sure to mention that it was Tarkley who taught you everything you know. Oh, oh, so he's trying to steal my credit. You know, that's okay, that's okay. Uh, aura, don't need that. Oh, summon skeletons, definitely gonna have that. Uh, flame dash sounds so cool, but uh, we're gonna go with skeletons. It has to be skeletons. There's just nothing else we can possibly take. Oh, and I should be doing this in the accent of a documentary presenter. But never mind, it's alright. Um, I'm too excited. Skeletons. We can summon skeletons now. Oh, you will all suffer terribly. The wrath of the necromancer. Okay, well, um, now let's actually get into the... Uh... Oh wait, I have to empty the inventory. Sorry. I will stop the recording for a moment, empty my inventory, and then I shall see you upon the King's Road. Right, so welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Um, this is the King's Road, oh, the Emperor's Road, sorry, my apologies. And upon first arrival, we are suddenly being attacked by some goatmen. This time they use lightning, they're called bearded shamans, they are very bearded and very angry. Oh god, I'm so happy to be able to do the accent again. Right, so the Emperor's Road is completely different from the prison. It is not dark, it is not gloomy. It's in fact a very pleasant place that uh, we have probably seen before because they're reusing most of the same textures. And oh my god, is that... These are flaming hellions. They burst into fire when they die. They're like uh, wolves with uh, red fur. And they are very... Well, they're very flaming. <laughs> They are really flaming. <laughs> Quite literally. Okay, so... Uh, freezing Shrine. Uh, we've got the bonus, now it allows us to freeze all our foes. And just to show you that I can raise skeletons now... Oh, there they are. There they are. They're not doing much. I don't think they're protecting me very well. But, uh... It's probably... I probably can't see anything because of all this ice around me. can I summon? I can have six maximum. Okay, so that's fine. Um, unlike the zombies, the skeletons are on uh, a ta- oh, there's a boss here, no wonder. Okay, drink mana, drink, drink, <laughs> summon zombies, go, go, go. Skeletons, go, go, go. Okay, this boss is called Guardian of the Mound. He is a blood red uh, goat. He is summoning lightning bolts from the sky and he's just dead because my minion army oh look at the skeletons they're so happy look at them they're smiling oh my god my boys are smiling isn't that cute okay i'm so sorry i really do like uh the fact that they're smiling now the skeletons are different from the zombies because they only last for 20 seconds so you actually have to actively summon them uh as you would use any other spell so that's very important um unlike with the zombies that just last until they're killed the skeletons are something you summon usually to deal with the boss, and then they go away. So 
so they're doing their job there, you can see them working, they're killing things. And uh, they're less durable than the zombies as well, but the benefit is that you can keep summoning them, so... Okay, when uh, at, at some point when I'm not on fire, and when my minions are not on fire, I would try to study these creatures in greater detail. There we go. So these goatmen have the leaping attack. Yep, it does quite a bit of damage, so you do want to get out of the- ooh, skeleton gem level up. Yeah, you do want to get out of the way when they uh, do that, and you probably don't want to be hit by these uh, shamans firing their lightning bolts. But uh, other than that, there's not too much that's uh, dangerous to a witch here. Oh, oh, okay. So the uh, rock shitters, <laughs> they're called gravel eaters. Jeweless orb, lucky. Um, yeah, so these guys, they just uh, pop out of the ground now. They no longer come with a shell, unlike the crabs we saw before. And if you haven't seen those crabs, go back to past episodes. The loot today is quite decent. I am very happy. And if I could do Bane's accents, I so would do it right now for you guys. <laughs> but I'm very terrible at it. Oh, I might attempt it anyway. Well, hello there, Mr. UPS man. I heard you wanted to kill me with your flaming hellions. Oh god, I'm so bad at this. I'm sorry for putting you through that. I'm just very happy today. Today's a positive day. And if you'd like more positivity, please do check out my Zen show. Aha! Okay, so rare uh, bearded devils, they're not very good. <laughs> my skeleton's just happily wandering over and killing them. Look at that wolf corpse, and all the blood congealed on the ground. It is disgusting, but very cool at the same time. Great attention to detail. Uh, follow the Emperor's Road. Okay, so we're probably getting too far off track. We want to follow the Emperor's Road. That's what I shall attempt to do. So we're walking, we're walking. Find your own way in land, exile. Well, that was rude. I shall find my own way. And you will regret it, woman. Well, okay, so, uh, we've been sealed off from the mainland. Uh, probably not too bad. Uh, I think if we kill the goatman and just, uh, wander around a bit. Oh, rare goatman! His name is Ashtalans the Squalid. Apparently he's quite poor because his <laughs> squalid is in his name. I'm just going to summon skeletons right next to him. Oh, he's dead before they even got to go to work on him. Good work, zombies. I like you today. You're feisty. Energetic. Ooh, more. Okay, so. Now we have some rare flaming hellions. They still burst into flames like they normally do. Uh, getting swarmed here, so I'm going to summon something to deal with these guys. Uh, oh, silver coin. Prophecy, prophecy, coming. Clutter. What? What do you mean, too much clutter? What? Oh god. Inventory's full. Okay, um... Right. I can still pick this up. No problem. Today just seems to be a good loot day, so we're getting a lot. Ah, chest. My fabled enemy. And I didn't start the filming timer. Wonderful. I am so stupid. Okay, I shall start a shortened one now. Hopefully we won't go too far off time. I do apologize for that. I was just so excited to film for you guys after uploading my Zen show that I just couldn't, you know, you know, I'm sure you understand. Oh, there we go. The gravel eaters, they come out of the ground to eat gravel. Okay, here we go, zombies. Ugh, I need a drink of water. Oh no, I'm looking uncute. I'm so uncute. Quickly, quickly, eh, fix the hood. There we go. If I remove this hood, it would be very painful for you. Uh, I'm sorry, every time I wear the mask, I feel like Bane. It's just, it's just a Bane moment. Okay, so the goats uh, just leap from the cliff and attack you.
Wait, I should probably do this a bit more documentary stuff. Look upon the beard of terrors as they leap from the cliffs in order to attack you in their natural habitat. Ah, chest. Wonderful, you gave me nothing. How did I expect that? How did I know of your treachery, bastard? Okay. Yes, more zombies. The army of the dead grows. And you can do nothing about it. La 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 la. Chest. Oh, portal scroll. Okay. That's worthwhile. And level up. Uh, everything seems to be setting us on fire these days. Look, my zombies are just wandering around on fire. Okay. Um, soon we're going to get more zombies and skeletons. I'm happy about that. There's just about three levels to go. Uh, my minions will gain increased life as well. That's really good. Uh, because their damage is pretty decent, I would just prefer... Oh, there's a wolf that's permanently on fire. Um, wonderful, chest gave us nothing. <laughs> okay, the burning menace. Oh, we encountered him in the last video. He seems to have respawned. Hello, burning menace. Ah, <laughs> she'll summon my skeletons directly into your fire. They'll probably burn. And... Let's have, let's have a look at him. Look, the flaming wolf. It's like a Pokemon. You could probably catch this guy if you had a camera phone or something. I'm sorry, I don't actually play Pokemon Go. And don't judge me for that. It's because I don't like going outside. Outside is a dangerous place filled with evil things. Okay, so because our inventory is full up, I'm going to spare you the town trip. I'm just going to pop over there with the portal scroll and I'll be right back. See you soon. Right, so welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are in town, my inventory is clear, and once again, I forgot that we can get a prophecy, so let us seek one. Powerful soldiers of a forgotten time, reunite and march once again. Right, so the undead are coming. <laughs> this is like the Lord of the Rings scene. The way is shut. It was made by those who are dead, and the dead keep it. The way is shut. But uh, basically, I'm going to kill seven undead. Avenge sevenfold, oh my god. The band is going to come and kill me. Ugh, mask is so uncomfortable today. I'm so sorry guys, I'm probably going to have to arrange it after this session because I've got no time to play with these traps right now. And we seem to have completed the area. Oh, burning menace. There we go, no problem. Okay, uh, yeah, there's probably nothing left to explore. All good. And now, we get to move on from the Emperor's Road into the next section called the Ship Graveyard. Apparently, it's a shipwreck site. Let's check it out, shall we? Hey, do I have your attention? Can you help the people you're missing? Okay. Sirens appear to be dining well. Ladies and gentlemen, I seem to have encountered some green-beaked turtle ducks. They are rather different from our previous uh, encounters, and ah, we have a weathered carving. Let us read it. Calm stands before us and looks out to the raging sea. He sings, calls, screams to our ancestors to come to our aid. He offers them gifts of old, a feast of heart and mind, muscle and marrow, cooked in the fire and rock of this angry land. We have not practiced these ways in so many years. Only in the darkest of times, most desperate of times, do we perform these oldest of rituals. Only here and now may we sacrifice and consume our own. Only in our king can we trust this return to our ancient selves. Well, so the barbarians now practice cannibalism. Um, okay, so first it was like the rape, the murder, and the looting, and now it's cannibalism. I don't know what you people are doing. This land isn't so bad. It's nice, pleasant, I and mean, there's a lot of scenery and fauna. I mean, everything's trying to kill you, but still. Okay, so we've got these green beak turtle ducks. They're not very sturdy, and we actually have undead uh, sailors. 
when they die, they sort of fly off into the atmosphere, so that's pretty cool. Oh, and there's a person on the uh, minimap, his name is Fairgraves. Let's speak to him. Still going good on timing. Chest. And it didn't give us nothing, it actually gave us an orb of alteration. Frankly, I would have been surprised if you hadn't recognized me. Yes, tis I, Captain Sigmund Fairgraves, wave tamer, pirate bane, and conveyor of civilization to barbaric lands. So, what am I doing here, apart from blowing my own bugle? I'm marooned, languishing, thanks to a pair of pretty blue eyes. Stuck fast in the filthy mud of Rayclast, thanks to one sultry little slave girl. I liberated her from the flesh pits of Trathus, and she repaid me in full with a sleight of hand and swift feet. Turned the coat of my first mate, took my hard-earned ore flame, and with it the wind out of me sails. Find my ore flame, I beg of you. Till I feel its warmth again, I'm trapped here, high and dry, until the sun Right, so this uh, ghost captain, Captain Fairgraves. Oh, he actually doesn't look ghostly. He looks pretty uh, material. May fair winds favor you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Well, um, basically, he's trapped here until we acquire the All Flame. It's an optional quest, but we love quests, so we are going to do it uh, if we can actually find the bloody thing. So, um, let's. Ex oh, there's a waypoint. Then what did I go back to town for? My God. Okay. Uh, so we found a waypoint. Yay. And I suppose now we will... Oh! Green beaked turtle ducks. Look at them. So cute. <laughs> my zombie just slapped that one into the ground. I love you zombies. Okay, go, go, go my minions. Slap them. Slap them. Yes! That is how you do it. That is the way slappeth thy enemies into submission. Okay, chest. <laughs> and more of these guys. Uh, let's observe them for a bit because they're not dangerous. Um, they're basically the turtle ducks that we saw in uh, episode 2. Oh wait, is that a rare? Hollow Phantom the Deadly. Well, he's not very deadly. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty much surviving. Uh, but then again, this is easy mode. Oh, another prophecy coin. We shall get even more prophecies soon. Hybrid Flask, I'll take that. I can sell it off. Um, the Hybrid Flask restores your health and mana, but uh, generally we don't need that. Ooh! Ooh, spirits. These are female spirits. They have a feminine shape. And uh, they have a tentacle and a claw. I don't know what they're called because I was fixated on the art. I'm so sorry. Typical male behavior, right? Ah, more of them. Okay, they're called seething brines. They seem to be very angry um, water ladies. Look at them. Look at them all. They're just uh, snapping at my witch with their claws. And of course my zombies just don't care. They're just going to town on them. I'm actually not even fighting, I'm just letting my zombies handle all the work while I do this uh, presenting. <laughs> I'm just standing here, they're killing everything. Yep, yep, go my minions, you're doing well. Okay, the ship graveyard cave. I think this is where we will find the ore flame, but uh, I might make that the last segment of the video. I do want to explore the area first. Oh my god, it's actually been so much fun, but it's like nine minutes left. Shoot. I have to... I have to go faster. Right, no more presenting. I shall focus upon the task at hand. Even if my mask is uncomfortable today. Looks so off center. Gah! Oh no! Yes, I actually spent a few minutes, like a minute, this entire show arranging my mask. I'm very sorry. It will not happen next time. Merc runners. These things are called merc runners. They're so weak that I'm not even there. Uh, bother 
bothered by them. Oh, a strong box. Guarded by three packs of monsters. Sounds like fun. Let's do it. Oh, oh, look at that. I will defeat the rogue exile. Where's the rogue exile? I don't see one. I see... Oh, oh, there he is. Aura Greengate. <laughs> oh, man. I wish I, I wish I had shown you guys the uh, rogue exile. I'm so sorry that he died so easily. I mean, you wouldn't even think that he was uh, of any use to anyone, the way he just dropped dead like that. But, uh, great, he dropped a lot of stuff. Too much classic. My god, uh, I'm gonna have to take a couple of trips back. I shall spare you the agony. I shall try to carry as much as I can in one go. Okay, and I shall resume the recording once I've cleaned up this area. And no, I will not get another prophecy this time. Right, so, uh, welcome back, guys. As you can see, I've removed the mask because, uh, unfortunately, uh, it really was hurting my face. It's left some nasty marks, but, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll fix that, uh, for the next session. So I really am sorry that, uh, had to waste your time with all that fiddling. It probably didn't look too good. Anyway, uh, now let's try and get back to the program at hand. I've just, uh, traded off all the loot. So, now we're continuing to explore the, uh, ship's graveyard and as soon as we're done with that I shall try to hop right into that little thing that uh, special place called ship's graveyard that's where we want to go find the all flame and this will actually lead us out to the next area I think that's yep the Merveil's cabins that she's the next uh, major boss that we have to face so According to the game law, anyway. Ah, oh, but with the mask off, we can finally take a drink of water. Wait, am I even using zombies? Do I have them? Oh, yeah, they're dead. Okay, I'll still summon more. Not a problem. Ah, boss scroll. Exactly what I needed, as I just used one. Oh, another one. Thank you, video game, for assisting my. Uh, gaming session. Oh, another weathered carving. I'm sorry. Chest. Why did you give us nothing again? You really don't like me this time. The trunks like me. They give me portal scrolls. Okay, weathered carving. Calm is gone. Our king has taken our finest 500 warriors and descended into the depths of Rayclast. He spoke to us of a vision, a gift from the ancestors. Calm has been deceived. The vision was a gift from the Black Spirit. It has conquered Kaun. The Black Spirit has conquered the Karui Way. Hairi has made ready her canoes. We will take those that are left, 500 forgotten families, and carry them back to their true homes. Back to Nga Makanui. Kaun's promises have led us into nightmares. Hairi will lead us back to the dawn. Right, so um, basically the barbarians, uh, I think they gave up completely on uh, any form of redemption. And uh, very similar to Diablo 2, their leader seems to have been corrupted by the black spirit or whatever. So, well, I guess uh, that's what you get when you start trying to colonize a place that uh, makes you murder, steal, rape and kill and all that. Okay, so how much time do we have left? Barely two minutes. Um, tell you what, even if we go a bit over time, let's do it. Ship's graveyard. We must. Okay, so we've entered the ship's graveyard. It's a cave that's filled with water ladies, more seething brine. They seem to explode into ice when they die leaving behind just, oh, portal scroll, thank you, leaving behind just uh, fragments of them. Uh, these ghosts are called Cursed Mariners, they are blue in colour, but basically the same as their cousins outside. Ah, the empty chest. Wonderful lover. Oh, my empty chest, how my heart beats for the, oh, Blacksmith Strongbox. 
I'm sorry, this is probably going to end up being a very long episode because we keep finding such good things. But uh, we shall press on. Magic monsters. Oh my, okay, so we've got Siren Spawn, uh, some Seething Brines. They're all magic. I'm going to have to summon skeletons to deal with this. I'm actually losing a lot of health. I do not want this to be my first death. I'm the presenter. You cannot kill me. I cannot die. My zombies are gone. My skeletons are gone. I need to summon more. I'm frantically tapping on keys, but we have survived. Ladies and gentlemen, we have won the battle. Um, earned some good loot in the process. Yep. All good. I did not panic at all. That was uh, completely uh, rehearsed, scripted. See. Yep, totally calm. Absolutely calm. <laughs> okay, so these sirens are just dying on mass. I'm sorry, I don't even get a chance to show them to you. They're not very good. They're rather weak creatures. Ah, why do I keep getting skills for rangers? I need I need wizard skills, witch skills, blue skills, not Shrapnel shot. Nobody cares about shrapnel shot. I don't even use a bow. Well, maybe they think I'm Legolas on the inside. <laughs> I'm channeling the spirit of Orlando Blue. I know he's not dead, but it just sounded appropriate. I and level up. Recognize myself. Don't worry. You don't need to recognize yourself. I will recognize you. And we have leveled up. Empty chest, don't worry, I know you. Yep, oh god, we're so over time. Okay, got to hurry. Panic button, panic mode engaged. But I cannot sacrifice the entertainment. Okay, rare monster, Fox Screech. He is a gigantic ghost. Uh, appears to not be wearing any pants. Uh, he's dead. Thankful. Whoa. Did he just... I think he somehow spawned uh, more ghosts. Oh no wait, they actually teleport to you. I thought he spawned more. But that was just the empty chest. Thank you, thank you, wonderful. Um... Oh, oh, okay, Strangle Charm. Uh, that appears to be the boss of this area. She has a very powerful aura. She is a large uh, seething brine. She casts some kind of ice nova. But thankfully she wasn't too difficult to vanquish. She has dropped some very rare loot. We have found the slave girl. There is a rare monster, Sea Rumble. He's just come out. I don't know why he's turning red. He's dead. We've got the ore flame. We've got a battered foil. And chest. Oh, not empty. Boulder, empty. Why would anyone put anything under a boulder? But anyway, we are out of the ship's graveyard. I'm sorry that I ran over time, but I hope you had fun with that slight bit of frantic adventure at the end. This has been... The Empress Road, the ship's graveyard, and the cave of the ship's graveyard. So I hope you've had a fun adventure with me, and I shall see you very soon on the next episode. Please tell me if you enjoy the new cover, and of course, do all those YouTube things. Subscribe to my channel, share my show if you like, because my channel is very young. I still need a lot of viewers. So if you're having fun, please help me out a bit. Thank you very much, and I will prepare my mask for the next viewing, and it shall be better. See you guys.